Welcome to Car Cave USA. My name's Jake, and today we have this 1990 Fender 50th Anniversary Edition with the TD5 engine and a five-speed manual transmission. We'll walk around the outside, then we'll get into the mechanical, and then jump into the interior, show you everything this Defender has. So this is the 50th Anniversary Edition of the Defender. Um, still locking in sources but i think it's about 320 to 350 td5 um, special editions so um, somewhat rare um, you can see over here has the 50th anniversary edition badge on both sides um, we wanted to keep the aesthetic and the you know kind of the overall vibe of the 50th but bring it up a notch and, and bring this Defender into uh, you know kind of a modern look, and I think we nailed that pretty darn well. Um, it's got 16-inch steel wheels on it, um, and it's got a terra firma five-plus lift. Um, these are uh, 265, 75, 16s. These are the uh, BFG all-terrain tires on it, and we definitely like the way this thing looks. It sits. Uh, flush with the wheel well the tire does you can see um, so it's got a nice just solid look to it um, I'll come underneath and you can see uh, all the new suspension goodies that we have on it and again you can see the front hoops again rolling under here as well show the front of the suspension so we sourced this uh, Defender out of Europe. Uh, it's from a collector. Um, we've actually worked with him uh, in the past and we've always had fantastic results. He takes very good care of his car. Um, the Belgian technical inspection uh, had this as excellent for the mechanical and uh, we pretty much agree with that. Uh, he did do a um, respray of the uh, factory color. Uh, so it does have fresh paint and you can see it's in pretty darn good condition. Um, he had this vehicle for I think about 12 years if I remember correctly but it does have the tan and then has the white top and um, obviously the white wheels to to match that. Um, it's got the uh, four mud flaps or bibs as they are um, preferred to. But again I'll show you underneath and it is just a, a beautifully clean vehicle you have no rust or grime or anything nasty like that again like i said we did the full suspension bigger wheels tires um, even with that it rides quite nicely um, had this over a weekend and put about 300 miles on it and it just wraps out everywhere you're looking to go again you can see it from the rear here um, we did add the upgraded uh, rear tire carrier here and here, so it's able to handle the weight of the extra tire without um, pulling the rear door. This is a diesel, this is the TD5, so it's the uh, five-cylinder turbo diesel. Yeah, get another look here on the outside. Let me come over here and we'll pop the hood and we'll jump into the interior. So again, here you have TD5. Um, again, like I just said, it is the five cylinder turbo diesel. Here's your turbo hanging out over here on this side. This is uh, a fully Land Rover engine. Um, it is the, um, my hood did not pop all the way. Let me shut that real quick. There you go. Um, it is the uh, kind of the most modern uh, diesel engine that we're able to get here in the States. Um, like I said, this is a 1999, so um, just able to import last year. Again, here's opening up the interior. So we went ahead and did full uh, leather interior. So it's black Exmoor trim, 
uh, seats as well as the high top cubby. Um, I really like this cubby box because you get two cup holders, which is fantastic. Um, and then this uh, is kind of a padded top to your center console. And when you have that, um, it's just quite nice to, you know, kind of lean against and you have a nice, uh, you know, comfy cruise um, on this thing. Uh, you have your typical 12 volt cigarette lighter plug over here, rear wiper over here. It is the R380, so it's a five speed manual transmission. It has the um, high and low range gearbox as long as locking discs. I believe that's L230 if I remember correctly. Um, it has the stock uh, Defender vents here in the front. These things are great. It is currently the summer here in Aiken, South Carolina. And whenever you drive this thing, that feels amazing. Does have a radio, um, but I personally just like using the, uh, like a Bose pill and throw it in the dash and that works great. You have your traditional cubby hole. We did do a new headliner on it. So you can kind of see the headliner. Um, this thing gets a lot of compliments when you're driving down the road. A lot of people like this thing. It's got that classic look, but it's just a little bit more. Come over here to the back. It has the rear gate. That locks into place. You can get the whole rear gate. You can see just the condition of the underside of everything. And again, it has four brand new rear seats. Um, with straps so you have nice easy way uh, easy access if you want to throw your gear um, I had another defender that I took on, on a family camping trip and it was great through four people four uh, you know uh, heavy backpacks we were camping for four or five days uh, food water everything and the defender took it like champ um, so these are pretty nice you can just pop that strap off Seat comes down, put the seat right there. You can either put it right there in the little groove right there. And now you have four seats. You can fit six people back here. It's always a lot of fun, you know, sitting sideways, having friends back here, uh, hanging out. You have these Alpine lights. I'm a big fan of those. They're just nice to let a bunch of light in here. And then if you also have, you know, people back here, it's kind of cool to look around if you're in a cool place. Um, but it is fun. You can fit six people in a, you know, 90 inch wheelbase vehicle is, is definitely a, uh, a cool thing. So yeah, again, these pops are just, or snaps are just clip on and your seats are folded up. Go ahead and shut this back here and moving around to the driver's side, uh, something else, these, uh, slide open, you can go all the way like that. Uh, they do it on both sides, driver and passenger. Um, so that is a cool feature. Um, definitely like it if you have a uh, puppy dog, you know, usually roll it right here. He'll stick his head out. Big fan of that. Um, but it's also, you get great airflow coming through this thing and it's just a fun little feature on it. You can also do it from the uh, driver side. You can get the driver side one. The passenger side is a little bit of a stretch for me, but um, yeah, depending on how you're built, you can get that done. Moving over, here's the driver door. And again, you can see, there you go, everything on that. It is, like I said, five-speed manual. You have your clutch gas brake. Again, new seats, new cubby box. So you have your updated, uh, but so classic Defender dash. So you have your clock your temp gauge, your fuel gauge. This one does have, you'll see this red light, and that just means that the door is open. Uh, when you turn the key on, which we'll do here in a second, you have all your um, indications, uh, headlights, um, turn signals, uh, 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 not spark plugs. Oh my gosh, I'm having a brain fart on uh, glow plugs. You have all your stuff there, uh, hazards, um, you know, all your, your fog lights and stuff like that, rear defrost, front defrost. Um, this is your headlight switch. Boom, you see it pop up there. Uh, turn signal as well as horn. 
uh, and then you have your wipers over here on the front up by your uh, uh, cluster you have your fan speed for your climate um, and again you have uh, direction whether you want it as defrost or um, down on your legs that comes through right here is your diverter jump in this thing and we'll hear this TD5 crank off so I'll show you the dash and wind light clutch in make sure that's neutral and go plugs So this is sitting in, I have both doors open. And we'll come out here. And here I am by the tailpipe. All right, so walking around to the front, you can hear the engine on the front. And let's see, it's got a nice front look to it. We'll shut that off. I am in a closed building. I don't want to gas the guys out front. Give this a shot. And do a walk around. You can see the outside, just kind of how it sits. It just sits quite nicely. It's got a great look to it again over here and you can see just kind of how it sits with the wheels and tires being flush on both sides right here and this car is here in our Aiken showroom so Aiken South Carolina you can stop by test drive it anytime you'd like if you have any questions check out well you can either refer back to this video um, if you go to our website uh, www.carcaveusa.com you can find all of our inventory there and then we have a full write-up um, going into the vehicle the documentation uh, build list of everything that we worked on i'm sure i'm forgetting something but uh, we did go through this thing this thing wraps out it is uh, quite a lot of fun and it's definitely one of my favorite looking ones and the color has definitely grown on me in the sunlight it just pops um, so big fan of this one and cut